Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces, have heart and see them through. There are no premature endings. There are no wrong decisions. There are only fresh perspectives and new beginnings, which is a very polite way of saying, you've really messed up. This is a love story. You're on a path oh. in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Oh, we got in the raider. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Oh, the end of the world? What are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? Killing the princess seems kind of bad, though, doesn't it? Oh my, why is there so many dialogue options? Sweet, I've always wanted to offer monarch people a revolution. That's the spirit. Yeah, he's on board for it. She will lie. She will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Just, just get the job done, I got you. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Uh, let's just go on in. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. Let's get the job done. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Yes, look at this interior choice. God, like the fashion here is so off, you're just better off dead. I'm just saying. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Says the narrator, completely instructing you what to do. Oh, my mouse curse has got a knife now. That's, that's a little attention to detail. Hey, I think I'm here to kill you. Very polite murderer. Excuse me, I'm here for your execution. Oh, are you now? Why don't you come down and let me take a look at you? <laughs> so I think she's, she seems okay with it, you know? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. Mr. Derader, please. You weren't kidding when you said you were here to kill me. I got a knife. <laughs> Still, just immediately do it. You step forward, <laughs> your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, you'll have to get close enough to use it. I can throw it. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. End this. Can I just try? Like, let's just go with, like, the... Let's end it as fast as we can. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. <laughs> oh, she's like, oh, no. You feel flesh oh, easily God. give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. <laughs> she did not expect that. I'm almost embarrassed. I should have seen that coming. But I have to wonder, do you actually believe this was enough to kill me? Uh-oh. There's got to be a little bit more. But it's got to be something else. It's over. You could check her sleeves if you want, but I can assure you that there's nothing hidden up there. We should make sure. What's the harm in checking for a pulse? Uh-oh. I really don't think you should do that. I don't think she's going to be dead. I'm wondering if I even take the knife back. <laughs> Good game. A bit short. Like, Jesus, yeah, we, we barely got started. You lean down and wrap your hand around the blade's hilt. But as you begin to slide it out of its resting place, uh -oh. you feel a sharp and sudden jab in your side. What was that? I guess I won't be dying alone after all. Oh, damn it. An eye for an eye. A life for a life. I guess we're even now. Well, this can't be good. See you around. You were so close. 
Why did you hesitate? <laughs> the Raider is matter. pissed. <laughs> At least you managed to take her with you. For whatever that's worth. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter two, the razor. How's it continuing? You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, oh it god, will wait, no, it's just round two. We're just, we're just back. I already slew the princess. Sure, she has to kill me, but I definitely got her. Why am I here again? I can assure you that you didn't slay her, and that she didn't kill you. People don't just spring back to life after dying, and the two of us are meeting for the very oh, first Oh, it's gonna be one of those stories. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. You died last time, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Oh. Had you failed to slay the princess, what would have happened to everyone in the place you left? Screw this. Who cares what happened to everyone else? She's not going <laughs> to play of the so we do what we can to save ourselves and just get out of here. Just turn around and leave. <laughs> I walk away. <laughs> and away we go. Good call. Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Just walk away. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. I say he's strange. <laughs> it looks like this path also leads to the Damn it, he's got a D&D &D campaign really prepared for us. Everything's back on oh, whoops! Again. You if find you yourself happen, here in the mines anyway. You're gonna have to play the scenario I prepared. Turn around again and leave You're again. really keen on wasting everyone's time, aren't you? <laughs> it's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies, dies. Forever. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, something isn't right. Can you still hear me? You're supposed to wind up back at the cabin again. Everything is getting... Uh-oh. What, what's going on? Where are we? Oh, we're going too far away. The world around you is unwound. His physical matter replaced by textured nothingness. It is quiet. There's a distant rumble and a sound of many sounds. Undulations pulse louder as something utter comes close. Feelers probe across the fabric of reality. Extremities find your consciousness and wrap themselves around it. You are no longer alone. Resistance. Fingers drag, drag claws across the glass surface of your soul. Frustration. This vessel is full of you. I need something empty I can crawl inside of. I need something shaped like me. Yeah, this, this is just... This is just... Metaphysical nightmare. It's not. Uh oh! <laughs> You're on a path. Okay, it's chapter works. one again. I have no acknowledgement now. Of what just happened. It's actually reset this time, so there's no continuity this time around. How could a prince is locked away in a basement in the world? Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on I, you. I'm the storyteller, you must understand. Had someone else do this. Oh, if only that were the case. But I don't make the rules. I have to say I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. But you see, we've actually gone to the motions before, and I just got the nightmare scenario where hands ate me. Like I said, he I only has you rules. to play D&D. No matter how much I wish I did. Please just save, like, like fight the goblins in the mines. It's the only scenario I have. Please go along with it. Dear, so maybe I'm okay with the world ending. Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. I mean. Maybe some people do, like nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one <laughs> of those. It depends I'm... how funny the dialogue options are. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Let's continue down the stairs. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your You wouldn't just kill me, would you? Proceeds to kill her. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. Round Feel two. Flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sinking deep into her heart. Oh. But is it over? Really over? The only option this time is she's dead. That's interesting. I'm actually locked out of options. 
With your work done, you make your way back up the stairs, closing the door to the basement behind you. Why do I feel like we've done something terrible? You did kill someone. Greater good or not, something would be very wrong with you if you didn't feel at least a little bad. But it was for the greater good. One of these days that will sink in and help ease your guilty conscience. You open the cabin door, ready to return to a world saved from certain doom. Only, a world saved from certain doom isn't what you find. Uh oh. Instead, what you find is nothing at all. Where a lush forest stood mere minutes ago, the only thing in front of you now is the vast emptiness of some place far away. What happened? Everyone is fine. It's just that you and the cabin are now far away from them. Don't worry. You'll be safe here. This is good. Everyone is happy. Shh. You'll be happy. You'll... Oh, okay, alright. So glad you're keeping an open mind. <laughs> this is what's best for everyone. Trust me. Ah, uh, so what now, Mr. Narrator? Time passes. You can't be sure if it's days, or months, or years, or even decades. It's all a wonderful, boring blur. You've never been happier. Psst. Hey. We're not just gonna stay here forever, right? You hear the narrator? I'm happy, we're happy. Hell no, do you have any idea how to get us the heck out of here? I like it here. I'm so happy. Are we really happy? Or is he just telling us that we are? Okay, baby, I'm not happy. And I'm not just saying that because he's the last person I talked to. <laughs> it's so self-aware. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're happy. Really? Well, if you ever change your mind, just let me know, I guess. Yeah, it's no problem. More happy time passes, though the word begins to lose its meaning. Time, that is. Not happy. Happy still has plenty of meaning. Please, shake yourself out of it. We have to get out of here. So the happy. Little voices, please, fall on deaf ears. Eventually, you pass into a blissful state of pure existence. Though words like eventually and pass ceased to have any meaning to you long before that shift, you simply exist. Happy. Forever. Nice. We got the happy ending. Good ending. You did it. You saved everyone. Oh, that's a relief. That's actually it. This is one of the endings. Yeah. Well, we finished the game. Some games just don't have much to say. I'm sure that's all that's going on here. New game. Let's kill her again. Hi. <laughs> don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Ah, uh, no. -uh. Then drop the knife. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. Killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. Should I just drop the knife? I feel like I should hang on to the knife and maybe talk to her. I'm also worried that if I, if I click tighten my grip now, then I'm just going to instantly kill her again. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clap. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. I've killed you several times already. Are you coming on to me? This, this, this is pretty awkward. I know. I just said that. Now why are you here to kill me? You're supposed to end the world. Don't just tell her that. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. They like the world. I think. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here? Chained to a wall. Have they told you why I'm allegedly so... I mean, you did actually kill me one time. That doesn't sound right to me. And I don't think it sounds right to you, either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. But you don't really know me, do you? 
What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? Just don't kill me. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending the world? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything. And a monarch at last. One person. And a subjugating monarch, no less. They're really playing up the fact that I'm Irish here. It's like, you don't like these guys. You gotta do something. I'm guessing you don't have the key then. I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't... Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Uh-oh. Her sharp eyes settle on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. Right? She is. I'm sure of it. Uh-oh. It's just taco oil. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. And if you don't, I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I made my choice of locking her in the basement. Okay, let's break her out, and I I'm probably going to just immediately get killed. Oh, for the love of... <laughs> you attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. Uh-oh. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? Try the door? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. You're here to slay the princess, and you won't leave until the task is done. Uh, I don't think there's any point in calling out. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. This still seems like a bad idea, but... You won't like what happens if you do that. After all this, I could be like, let me just kill you. But I don't, I don't think I can save her. Against your better <laughs> judgment, Place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive, unyielding chain. Ooh. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. This isn't going to add well for me. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape uh -oh. into the world. I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair... Wait, no, 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 you're taking it over! The blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. Uh, Warner. <laughs> Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Uh. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back. But the princess swiftly moves out of the way before you can connect. Uh, gotta resist. The blade. Move. The. Blade. You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. The DM is railroaded! <laughs> My character doesn't want to do that. Your character will do what I tell you. Now defeat the goblins in the mines. I'll make this quick. Uh-oh. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Oh, we're like a monster or something as well. Maybe I'll see you in another life. And then she slits your throat with an almost clinical ease. Well. Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. This is the end, isn't it? I'm afraid it is. Everything goes dark. And you died. Well, we, tr we tried. I hope it was worth it. We actually made it to chapter two this time, though, so, you know, we did something right. Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here, for us and for the princess. We just have to keep trying. Ah, uh, we'll do a... We'll get it right I one of these days. Me. You know I can hear you two, right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. She will lie... She will cheat. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed to. Wink. Did you just say wink out loud? <laughs> no, I didn't. Wink. Just ignore the <laughs> I'm sure it's focus fine. Focus on the princess. I like voice of a skeptic. The interior of the cabin is less a cozy... Oh, it's different this time. ...and more like a dungeon. 
A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. They, they went to Ikea since last time and actually tried to do it like, make it look a bit nicer. We can approach the mirror this time. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. Uh, wipe the mirror clean? You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. But there was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be bad. Uh, he just wants us to get back to killing the princess. Okay, take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It would be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. Good idea. Much better to be armed than to go in with blind hope alone. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Does she remember us? We didn't get to say hi that time. Walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Got more chains. Looks up at you. So much for cutting her out of here. Do you hear yourself right now? Cutting her out of here never should have been on the table. Have you noticed the empty chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, there would be something so obviously useless. That was there last time too, wasn't it? An extra one. It was. What an interesting Skeptic knows something. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. We gotta talk to her. We gotta see if we can help her again. Maybe there's a world. Just fight the game. I don't like the narrator. Get him gone. My intentions. I've been here before. Am I the only one who remembers that? Okay, let's, let's see if she knows. Oh, are we acknowledging that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But yeah, I remember. Oh shit, she knows. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated Could have better game it. Yeah. Now hold on, if you knew this could happen, why didn't you believe us back in the woods? Why lay out all those hypotheticals? We didn't have to talk in circles. I needed you to believe this was your first time here, even if that wasn't the truth. I hoped if I pushed back hard enough, I could cram this seeping mess back into the bottle. Going into a metaphysical uh, nightmare. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. That's pathetic. And it, it is. Uh, the skeptic is just on his case. I never said I wasn't. <laughs> oh, no. Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. I won't. Thanks, skeptic. Uh, what happened after I died last time? Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. And now you're back. Is that really all she knows? It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. There isn't a keyhole in these shackles. And I don't see any keys in your hands either. So I'm afraid my only way out is another surgical removal. This one, this one might hurt a bit more. Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? I don't think you can come back from that. Uh, the other chain on the wall, who's it for? I don't know, but you could always try it on. Ah. Uh. Maybe it'll fit. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but please don't lock yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save I feel world. I feel like this will just make the situation significantly worse. <laughs> I don't think this helps. I really don't think this helps. Be chain bestie. This is gonna ruin the narrative. I wouldn't do that if I were you. And why is that? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? And what? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. He doesn't want us to look at it. 
That's all the reason we need to investigate. But what if he's telling the truth? He isn't. I am. The skeptic is like, do it! I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. What is that supposed to mean? It sounds bad. Is it bad? Yes. <laughs> it's bad. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, snapping around your neck. Uh-oh. And, as if your situation weren't bad enough, the same magnetism repels your blade, which is flung from your hand and sent skittering across the floor of the basement. Um, excuse me? <laughs> this is, this really hasn't helped. Yes? Are we stuck here now? Yes. Huh, so it does fit. And I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. What should we do? Wait, I guess. Maybe something else will happen. Maybe not. Not one for small talk, talk are you? Nope. That's rude. At least the world is safe. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. But she's not ending anything. She's just sitting there. Her very existence is a threat. It harms everything around it. How exactly does that work? It just does. But your line of questioning is interrupted by the passage of even more time. And after oh, that, okay. even All more right, time I guess we're, again. I guess we're not doing much. It's gonna wait till the end of time. You continue to wait in silence, and the cabin continues to change. The decay comes faster now. You can see earth through holes in the stonework, can watch lichen spread along the seams of the walls. That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to starving? We should have died by now if the rocks around us are starting to erode. She hasn't starved. I guess she hasn't. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Time continues to pass, and pass, and pass, until suddenly, there oh. are no walls. And then... And? I think he's gone. Would you look at that? We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. Nice. So this is the outside world. It's cold. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, she just got, just got engulfed. If you don't get the chance to respond, something has taken her away, and it's left something else in her stead. She's gone. It's the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. Uh, do we? Well, it never scared me before. Voices feel small, distant as you approach. Gaze into your reflection. It's you. You are alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. Seat to the cabin. You're at the cabin. Approach her. Something finds me in the long quiet. And brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. Princess, do you? I'd offer you a hand right now, but clearly, you've got plenty. What are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are you? What do you mean? Thoughts without connections. A dim and nascent network. I wish to be more. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Uh, can I still save the princess? Let her out of there? I'm sorry. There are some changes that can never be undone. There are some tears that can never be unshed. This is not a place that can hold a fragment of a concept. The moment she arrived here, she was going to return to me. I promise that it doesn't hurt. I mean, I got ripped to shreds by the hands earlier, but... You had sent me to slay the princess, or you had trapped me here. There's so many. I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. You know anything about the worlds beyond this place? I know only that they are. Are you the princess? She is part of me. 
And part of me is her. We need as much information as we can for the next loop that hopefully helps us. Do we know each other? You are familiar, but you are not me. I feel sadness, longing, hope. As I witness you. I feel sadness as I witness you. It's like, oh, gee. There is no exit. But this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget. If only you believe her to be able to. Bring me more perspectives. So that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Be scared I'll find a way to kill you. How much will I forget? Everything. Until we meet again. Okay, so I so it's gonna reset the game, but it'll keep track of me meeting her here. Any more pieces of you do I have to find? More than you have found, but less than there are to find. I am infinite. The rest will find their own way home. I, <laughs> so like seven? <laughs> Wait forever. <laughs> time is time is kind of meaningless now, as far as this world is concerned. You are as I am now. And forever is a long time to remain undone. I am not you, but I know that I would return before forever was finished. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I into a box for safekeeping? You'll always come back to the box, because you'll always want to know what it means to be you. I will be here waiting by your side until you're ready to return to mine. Oh, the game closed. <laughs> okay, hey, let me let me put it back up. You have returned to me, though you were gone mere moments. Oh shit! And yeah. Left your side. It, it should come up again. I wonder if she's a little different dialogue if you don't play for a lot longer. Yeah. So a test for someone here: get the game and then report back in ten years. We might be treated. To an additional line of dialogue. She asks that I tell you to remember her. You won't. Oh! <laughs> that was unnecessary. Oh, uh, chapter one again. Okay, I want to get the voice of the skeptic again. I want to get back to the castle in chapter two specifically. So we're gonna like speed run it back to that point, which means we have to like resist the narrator as well. No, Approach the locked door. Have any of that. The narrator has a bit of a moment. The princess approaches the bottom he takes stair. control of us. Wait, this isn't watch me. No, no, it's grayed out. I was a grayed out. Oh no, he knows. You bring the I'm sorry. Lunge it into the princess's back. Finally. We lost the skeptic. Are you serious? <laughs> I didn't have a choice. I don't know what came over you, but if we're doing this, I guess I'll have to kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? I can beat you to death with one. Uh-oh. But I don't have to tell you that. I'll go ahead and show you. Wait, we can talk this out. I just give up. <sighs> the blade <laughs> She's just... Hands, the okay, we've made a mistake. Back, readying a bone-shattering haymaker. You fall to your knees, barely able to process the ringing in your ears before she hits you again. Every blow uh -oh. is as punishing as the first. You feel bones shatter with every impact, unknown ruptures blossoming with blood somewhere inside of you. She places a confident heel on your chest and pushes you down to the ground. Her knee falls to your throat, your windpipe crushed beneath a weight you didn't think her slight form could possibly possess. It can't just end like this. I, I right. think it just ended up like I'm this. I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. Well, we made it to chapter two. <laughs> what does it matter what he knows? Oh no, can we do got... to stop her. We got the She's depressed just voice. To kill us again. <laughs> oh, what's the point? <laughs> can we tone down the pessimism just a smidge? <laughs> I'm not being a pessimist. I'm just being realistic. Oh, you're so much fun at the parodies. You're being annoying. Oh, Why it's do different we feel again. So small. We don't feel small. We are small. Broken, please. Is there anything we can do with the mirror? That's because there isn't a mirror. There's definitely a mirror. There isn't. Who cares if there's a mirror? We're all going to die anyway. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm sure that if we looked in there, 
Oh my god, he's so uh, depressed. <laughs> you reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. We should count ourselves lucky. <laughs> Some things are better left unseen. Gee, oh, we gotta get rid of him. Is that a guest I hear? Don't linger on the stairs. Come down and witness me. Okay, what 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 happened since last time? <laughs> the little bird has returned to me. I wonder what he wants. Hey, how's it going? You remember you remember beating us to a you bloody pulp? That knife again. Even though you know it's useless. Such charming audacity. Drop it. I feel I feel uh she's not being as nice. I'm kinda of more scared of her this time. As if on command. The blade oh. slips from your grasp. No, it doesn't it matter. It <laughs> uselessly to the floor. Of course we dropped it. She's so much more than us. Broken, please. You wouldn't understand what it feels like to be in her presence. Neil. No, I'm good. Oh, are you still trying to defy me? I said Neil. Your legs buckle. <laughs> God and your damn it. knees hit the floor. The collapse of the old is a necessary prelude to the birth of the new. And the world as it is now is overdue for... Okay, she's actually gonna destroy the world this time. It's time for me to seize my destiny. And you, little bird, will help me seize it. I'm not gonna help you end the world. I don't care if something new comes after. I just can't let you, let you do that. I see. Perhaps you need another lesson in submitting to your betters. Oh. <laughs> Pick up that needle. Do it. It's what. No, you voice of the broken. No objections here. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, this can't be good. Reach forward and grasp the blade. Stand. This one's easy. Okay, yeah. We can do that. We were probably gonna stand anyway. <laughs> Take that knife in your hand and slit your throat. Uh oh. Don't do that one. What? You don't have to listen to her. You're armed. Just steal your nerves, step forward, and end this. No, I don't. This is gonna end it the wrong way. Oh, we'll end this all right. No, voice of the broken. Your hand <laughs> lifts the blade and brings it towards your throat. Okay, I apologize for the unclear language. End <laughs> her. Play the princess. Your body is sluggish and unresponsive, actively fighting against you, but you do your best to stagger forward. One step at a time, you move towards the princess. Voice of the Broken is not the ideal voice to have in this scenario. I'm sorry. Don't! As you take another ah. step forward, the blade digs into your ribs, slicing through flesh with ease. Voice of the Broken, why? Now, do it again. Keep doing it until I give you permission to stop. Those are just words you don't have to listen to. Voice of the Broken, don't you there? It's what she wants. <laughs> no. Heroic one, what are you doing? <laughs> don't just let this happen. Stop him from killing you. I'm on it. Your other hand locks around your wrist, struggling to keep it from perforating vital organs. <laughs> the blaze still flails towards you, managing to slice bits of skin that prop to the floor to join <laughs> the This is pretty fast. Stop. As you finish crossing the room, you fall to your knees at the princess's feet, your chest heaving as your blood pools in the crevices of the stone hurt. floor, the coppery taste coating your throat. Don't, don't do it! I said no resist, Slater Princess. No. no! Yes, though your body trembles, struggling to defend itself in the face of the princess's overwhelming will, you finally manage to break through, darting to her side before she can wind of your freedom rushes through you. And we got her! ...to a decisive blow, stabbing into the soft flesh of her ankle and severing the tendons in an act of unyielding defiance. But you don't give her any time to recover. Your heart pounding with determination, you plunge your blade into her chest. As you find your target again and again, she laughs, crude emotion breaking through her once stony composure <laughs> as your blade cuts This is just a bit weird. I can't believe you would actually strike me. You! You heathen! You worm! You defiler! You don't know the consequences of your arrogance! I don't care how much, like, go XLR reverb you apply to your voice, we're gonna kill you. 
She collapses to the floor. Her glassy eyes watch, unblinking, yet somehow still full of anguish and fear as the two of you perish together. Oh, we got her! I suppose we were never gonna get a happy ending here, were we? It is a draw. Everything goes dark, and you die. Chapter 3, The Fury. Okay. This can't be good. <laughs> You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of the path... Okay, what the hell is this? <laughs> Something's gone wrong. I think he's upset. And what's he got to be upset about? We just killed a god. Voice of the Stubborn acquired. Look, if the world around you is changing, especially all the way out here, then that means you're nearing the point of no return. Whatever happens next, that's it. There won't be any more do-overs. So you'd better take things seriously. Yeah, let, me, let me quick save. I'm done with this by at this late in the game. It seems like a bad idea. If I don't slay her or just stay here or do anything else, we hit this point of no return, what happens? what happens? Have you even been listening? It's the end is what happens. Just bye. <laughs> Let's get moving. I'm in chief. <laughs> like stubborn has got no chill. It's like kill her. Get her done. That's horrible. It's pretty bad. You did this. <laughs> no. The only furniture of note is a pulsating pedestal. A pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. What a fleshy interior. Approach the mirror. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. Almost as if you don't see it. But you must, because it's right there in front of you. All we see is a damn mirror. It really is just like last time. Are we really hallucinating? Why here? Why now? You reach forward and drag your hand across the door leading to the basement. Okay, it's not there. As if on command, it slowly slides open, scraping against the stone floor, its ancient hinges moaning as it reveals the dim path ahead. Why am I not surprised? Wait, 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 I didn't take the knife. Step forward. I didn't take the knife. Check page A for the autosave. Oh, I can go back here. I, I, I want the knife. I didn't realize I would lose the knife. Take the blade. Her voice, a bellowing rage, roars up the stairs. Was severing the tendons of my ascension not enough for you? Was it not enough to rend my divine heart? Oh god. Come see the horrors you've wrought upon my flesh, and feel my hands set upon your throat. She really hates us now. You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. The chamber's walls are painted in blood. Like she's just deep, straight up becoming a demon this time. Drips down in like. potted streams onto the charred corpses that make up its floor. This place reeks of torment, of ripped skin and burning. Do you know what I'm going to do? She's getting do louder. <laughs> I actually think I need to lower the audio a bit. She's actually, like, keeps getting louder the more time passes. And then, with a nauseating uh -oh. sound, the skin tears. It plops to the ground, and she pulls her red, glistening arm free from her bindings. She is loose, and she is coming for you. Maybe we should quick say. Is there any point trying to negotiate with her here. He saved so you could try. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's just, this will be the point of return. I'm sorry, okay, I'm sorry for what I did to you. Words are not repentance. Apologies are paid for only in flesh and deed. Uh-oh. And flesh works for me. Uh-oh. She bounds across the room, her fists ready, her heart set upon your destruction. Horrifying square. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, let's reload. <laughs> what happened here? Time happened. You happened. But none of that matters. We're together again, and I'll have my pound of flesh. All right, calm down, Sherlock. She bounds across the room, her fists ready, her heart set upon your destruction. With okay. Okay, let's try and get an end where our guts are not visible on the screen. <laughs> Give up and destroy the world, have we? The world hasn't wronged me the way you have. Maybe I'll get around to it eventually, though. Once I've had my fill of you. <laughs> Bounds across the okay, <laughs> I know how this one's going. Uh -huh. Please just listen to me. No, I don't care about your words. I care about getting my pound of flesh. She bounds across the room. Uh, this... <laughs> I'm going to end you, slay the princess. You'll try. And that's what I've been so excited for. Let's hurt each other. Your heart free of fear, you 
charge towards the princess, your eyes locked on each other, both of you prepared to lay down your very essence in one blow. It's now or never. Let's make it a beautiful blaze of glory. Come on, stubborn. <laughs> you are unwound. Huh. I feel cold. I've never felt cold before. Okay, the hands get her in the end still. True to a word, you do not die by her hand, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. Silence as you reach forward. They're gone once again. We are always to make some leaf. You need to see what's in it. You've grown. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. I brought around some uh, new voices. I go back as if an invisible wall closes around me. Why can I not do the same things I've done before? Oh, we gotta ask that, yeah. These paths lead to worlds you've already seen, and to perspectives I have already made my own. They are useless to us now, inaccessible. The only paths of value are those that are yet untread. So, the more you play it, the more of the game you're going to be locked out. So it's going to gradually guide you. I don't want to hurt you, but the more times I go back, the worse I fear things will get. Yeah, things things got a lot worse this time. There is a hurt that dwells in them, but they are not me. They are thoughts and perspectives. They are feelings that inform my being. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I cannot be as I was before. There are new spaces that I must fill. I await your return, but it will give me time to reflect on what I am. We will meet again. Oh, Jesus! <laughs> you gotta give some warning. <laughs> you gotta give some warning for that. An unwound vessel, bring the fury to path. her. They're, they're having works. achievements, which is and interesting. The end of Just to give an idea of maybe how many uh, replays there may be. I have now earned 10 of 97 achievements. Just to maybe give an idea of how much is going on here. That is, that is a lot of game. Okay, I do not want the blade. Not even gonna bring it. Hello? Is someone there? She's much more frightened. Hi. I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. She's probably gonna kill us, isn't she? I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. Examine the chains. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy. Far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Uh, I left the knife upstairs. Maybe somewhere upstairs. And check upstairs with the key still lying around somewhere up there. If not, maybe I can at least find something that'll break you free. Okay, I'll be here. Good luck. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Is someone else here? I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Well, we can wait till the end of time. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. She barely hesitates, oh, <laughs> raising her arm to her mouth, her teeth tearing through her limb with the determination. Wait, I've of got an idea. Like, holy shit, what are you doing? <laughs> Dear God. As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Save the princess. <sighs> Fine. Approach the locked door. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. No. You can't just let her escape into the world. No. I can't just let her escape into the world. Narrator. No. No, no. I don't want to. Warn her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? Y you know you don't have to do this, right? Your body lunges forward, the blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. But the princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it! Stop trying to resist me! I'm trying to get you out of here alive! As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. This is a new pack, so this is going to be like the voice of the skeptic, I don't think. We both know this 
isn't you. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. Oh, she's being sweet about it. She plunges it into your chest, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead yet. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, God. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again and again, and you feel every inch of burning pain that slices its way into your body. Mr. Narrator, could you just be like, and you just pass away peacefully, you know? Your nervous system just shuts down a moment, so you actually don't feel anything, and your organs just turn off like that. Uh, pass away harmlessly. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm oh sorry. God. Everything goes dark, and you die. Well, at least that... Okay, that's a very different outcome. Chapter 2 of the Damsel. Did we even have that chapter 2? If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. Yes, he didn't approve of us last time, did <laughs> he? Smithy. If we're going to save our beloved, we'll have to be sneaky about it. Oh, I like this guy. A warning. She will lie. We already told you we're not playing along with your little game. It's your <laughs> lies that can't be trusted. Her beauty is the only thing in the world we can believe in. I love him. My love, we're here to <laughs> rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. I love him, he's so stupid. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. And she called us a hero. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? <laughs> Happened after I died. You died? And now we're talking. Seems quite cheery about that. Sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me here to kill you took over my body. It was extremely unfair. Another version of me was pushed to such drastic action. It was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best. And that's all that matters. <laughs> it's so, like, sickeningly sweet and positive she now. She took that in stride. As the world sucks, people are a plague, and I hope you brought a slow and painful ruin to them all. This, this may affect the ending. <laughs> This may drastically affect- That's a uh, quick save. I can't believe that the fate of the entire world has been left in the hands of a misanthrope. Lucky for you, I did destroy the world. I destroyed all of it and made it awful for everyone. Oh, uh, there we go. Thank you. I'd point out that she just admitted to obliterating the entire world. But I guess that wouldn't actually- uh, I think we can trust her. Okay, I didn't bring a knife to have to cut you out again. I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. Okay. <laughs> Uh, rescue the princess. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll... You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. <laughs> my passions contain titanic depths, and if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life without a second thought. Oh god, no, I have voice of the spell. Oh, that's a good idea. <sighs> Approach the princess and take her off. hand from her bindings. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. <laughs> it's just no issue. I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. Ugh. Weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her back and everyone out there would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? <laughs> I love them. I think I want to leave. And I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Uh... I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. I just want to make you happy. She can't just want to make uh -oh. us happy. Uh oh. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same. Why is it getting us. weird? I just want to make you happy. Uh oh. She broken? What's going on? I want you to tell me what you want. I just want to make you happy. Uh oh. I fail to see the problem here. She's just sweet on us. <laughs> you don't have to act like it's so pink deep. Do, do we do we just get going? Do we just get going before like we do irreparable damage here? D let's just get out of here. If you want to leave, that let's sounds leave. Sounds perfect. <laughs> She's fine. Okay, <laughs> let's just 
Let's just not open, like, that box. Let's just park it there. <laughs> like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Yeah. And... Look at that. Door creaks open. Are you kidding me? I told you our love was insurmountable. <laughs> you cross the room, opening the door to the cabin, and then you step out. I got an achievement. Your love will set you free. We did it, gang. We did it. What should we do now? Where did everything go? Uh-oh. Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? Uh-oh. She's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. Uh-oh. We did it. You get the chance to bite that jacket, nor will you ever. It's time for you to leave. Memory returns. No, we're going to lose the voice of the smitten. Not the smitten. She'll be there waiting for us. I just know it. Ah, oh, we lost the smitten. Lance, as you reach forward, they're gone again. The mirror always makes them leave. You need to see what's in it. You've withered. Oh, no. Doesn't matter how many times we go back, at least one of us always hurts the other. Doesn't that change? It doesn't make you worse. It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? And it makes me like you more. I don't know what that says about me. I have no opinion. Are we trying to save the present? In love and memory of the smitten. <laughs> it says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. In love and memory of the smitten. Um, do you want to just do like a murder her three time route? <laughs> I think for the next one, we just kill her and kill her and just constantly try and kill her because I don't think we've actually done that. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. It's time for the murder out. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. That's the spirit. Let's kill the princess. Slay the princess. You lunge forward without a moment's hesitation. You feel flesh easily give way and look down to see your blade already sink. Oh. Just leave. Yes, exactly. It's over. You have any idea how to get us the heck out of here? I do, but you're probably not going to like it. The blade. We can use the blade to get out of this. I can hear everything you say, little voice. There's only one thing it would want you to use that blade on, and I'm afraid that thing is you, dear hero. The princess's body is dust and bones, though the blade you used to slay her is still as pristine as the day you first helped. She's been here a while. <laughs> pick up the blade, you stab yourself, and you die. Oh, he's very the to the point. End. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Chapter 2, The Spectre. Yeah, we haven't got this one. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. That's fine. It wasn't very hard to kill her last time. We'll just do it again. <laughs> okay, we just got like a cold-blooded killer as our new voice. He sounds a bit too familiar to the broken, but I don't think he's depressed. He's just getting the job done. He might be depressed. It feels like no one's been here for a long, long time. Like I've been saying, she's dead. We killed her already. Okay, uh, let's approach the mirror as we always do. Wipe the mirror clean. Reach forward and rub with their... And now it's gone. Let's not spend much longer worrying over it. Clearly it's not even important enough to be acknowledged. I don't know if you need to do that, but I feel like I should. The room below is silent. Nobody's here. Naturally. As much as I appreciate the optimism, you shouldn't be so sure. I guess we'll just have to go down and see. As you descend the final oh, step, she's already dead. the form of the princess comes into view. A skeletal body lying in a heap on the floor, its wrist still bound to the wall by a thick chain. Okay. She's definitely dead. <laughs> it's just like I told you. Before you have a chance to oh. finish your thought, the top of a head appears from underneath the floor. Two deep-set eyes stare up at you, followed by a mischievous skeletal grin. Happy Halloween! A g -g -g ghost <laughs> Oh, it's you. Hiya, Keller. I was hoping to see you again. I have some issues with how our last meeting went. We'll kill her again, don't worry. 
The princess drifts across the room into your orbit, gently running her fingers across your shoulders and down your neck as she circles you. Her touch oh. is cold and ethereal, formless yet real enough that her icy fingertips send shivers dancing across your skin. So she might she still be able body, to kill us. And she's right there. That means we could kill her again. If we wanted to. We do, Voice of the Cold, we do. But I don't know if I can just slay her off the bat because I don't know how the scenario is going to work. Need to wait a moment. Actually, no, I need the quick save. Sorry, I killed you last time. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, gee, this is all a big misunderstanding. Too little, too late. But you can, you still, can still make things right. right. She's not in a position to bargain with us. You don't have to do anything you don't want to. We don't have to do anything, but maybe we should. We did kill her. Wouldn't it be the moral thing to help her now that we have another chance? When a hero slays a monster, does he apologize to it? No. So don't try <laughs> to make her. Gotta kill right. her again. She was going to end the world. You didn't do anything wrong, aside from apparently killing yourself, and that doesn't have much to do with her. There's, like, there is so many dialogue options. Slay the princess. Without a moment's hesitation, <laughs> you lash out with your blade. It's like you're slashing at air. No matter how many times you stab at her, no uh -oh. matter how many angles you strike from, all you manage to do is interrupt her form, the skin of your hand prickling with cold as it passes through, unable to find anything solid. Hmm. You're adorable when you're confused. But I didn't say you could touch me. Uh-oh. Slay the princess hard. <laughs> you swing at the princess once more, and once more, your blade cuts through nothing as she disappears. Really? Her voice chides from elsewhere in the room. You whirl around, finding her hovering between you and the basement stairs, looking you over with grim disappointment. She draws in close. I was willing to let bygones be bygones, killer. I was willing to ignore everything you did to me so oh. we could get out of here, together. All I ever wanted was to leave this place. All I ever wanted was to find a way back home. Wherever home is. Her eyes turn from wells of sorrow to pits of wrath as she stares into you. Wrath. How does violence is the only language uh -oh. you speak? <laughs> that can't be good. You can't be sure if you first hear or feel what happens next. But it is over before you can fully conceptualize what it is. The horrific splintering, uh -oh. the squelching of organs, the rending of tissue, an icy, numbing pain. I'm done asking. The next time I see you, I'm taking everything I own. Starting with your uh, Okay, alright, I'm <laughs> not about this life. Anyway, let's have a I chat. See you brought that annoying life again. You know why you came back? How should I know? Why does anyone come back? Maybe I have unfinished business with you. Or maybe you have unfinished business with me. All I know is there's a hole in my chest. And not the big obvious one that you put there. There's something older and deeper. How can we help? A nagging reminder that I'm not where I'm supposed to be. Where are you supposed to be? Home. And just where is home, I wonder? I don't know where home is. I just know it isn't here. But I can feel it calling to me from someplace far away. Wherever I'm supposed to be, it's out there. How specific. But you can come and go as you please, can't you? So, let me hit oh, you Oh, she's just gonna possess us, is she? After all, what? you owe me. Would she be able to see us if we went along with it? Now isn't that an interesting thought? We could finally bring her face to face with him. I wonder what she would have to Wait, say. Wait, so to we the could kill the narrator, is it? So, so badly. What are you going to do if I help you get out of here? I don't know. Maybe I'll, Maybe I'll just fade away. I'm really able to rest once I'm free from my unfinished business. Maybe I'll find someone to haunt. Will you kill the narrator? That's what I want. Maybe I'll haunt you. It's a tough question, asking someone what she's going to do with her life. The princess leans in close and pauses, the frigid air between you stale and unmoving. 
Especially when it's someone's dead. Oh no. She pulls back. Don't plate. do it. <laughs> Don't do it. Okay, I've given it enough thought. Let's get you out of here. Should we just do... Let's just see where this goes. The princess swims through the air in front of you, pausing for a brief moment as her dark-rimmed eyes stare deeply into yours. There's a hunger in her gaze. You're really You're trying to make it up to me, aren't you? Thanks for being a pal, killer. I mean it. This isn't gonna go well, is it? See you soon. Uh-oh. She rushes forward, and then she's gone. A sharp chill spreads across your body. It starts in your chest, a freezing numbness flowing out from your heart all the way down your limbs, your mind growing cloudy and confused as it settles over your very soul. I'm not sure I like this. Can we get a do-over? <laughs> it's a bit late. You collapse to the floor, and everything goes dark. Come on, you. You've got to get up. I know everything feels heavy right now, but we still have to get out of here. Your eyes flick back open as you get your bearings, your vision swimming as... So this is what it's like to be you, huh? Disembodied voice narrating your every move? Oh, she can hear him now. So, it doesn't work like that for you? Clearly it doesn't, or she wouldn't have commented on it. All these shards of broken glass on the floor, are they also supposed to be you? Hey! I'm not a shard of broken <laughs> glass, I'm... It's okay. You can finish your thought. I'm... a voice? I'm me, is what I am. Who cares what we are? We exist. That's all that matters. Have you, see have you seen the smission in there somewhere? You don't need to know what I am. You just need to know that I'm different from the... <laughs> More important. So, you're the one who pulled the strings and made me dead. I can tell you don't belong here. You're barely even there. Like the shape of something left behind. You're more of a memory than a person. I think if the narrator dies, though, I think the story just falls apart very swiftly. So I think we're going to be in trouble no matter what happens here. I think it's too much noise. It's okay. We're almost out of here. Just take it one step at a time and everything will be fine. Everything won't be fine if you listen to her. The voices. The voices are telling me all another, different ways all to go. Dead. Yeah, let's leave. Your legs... Weary with the weight of the princess's spectral form, and clumsy with the cold that still pervades them, stumble towards the stairs. I'm just trying to get home. You don't have to act like it's the end of the world. But that's exactly what you leaving this place is going to be. You don't know that. I do. For how much you hate her, you aren't doing a whole lot to yeah. stop us from leaving this place. Maybe the bossy one doesn't actually hate me. Maybe he even likes me. Or maybe he just knows that he's been in the wrong. Maybe he's trying to make amends, too. Not at all. I'll have you know that I do hate you. And I will continue <laughs> to hate you for as long as I am able. We gotta take down the narrator. Collapse to the ground. You and the princess. Free from the confines of the cabin. As you exhale from the effort, you look up and see... Oh. Uh, yes? Nothing. He's gone. And so is everything else. So we did slay him after all. We had it coming, I suppose. Uh, we just going into the void again? But what about us? Are we just stuck here in nowhere forever? You're taking her out of the cabin near the end of the world. We're still here. Okay, I've heard enough from these two. Let's see if I can pop out. Your lightness in your chest is a pair of sunken eyes emerge from your body and stare up at you. I'm You actually freed me, didn't you? I'm outside. Thanks for giving me a second chance, Killer. Uh, I think the hands so are gonna have something else to say in a moment. I think this is where I meant to be. Yeah, no, there she goes. <laughs> you get the chance to respond, nor will you ever. It's time to leave. Memory returns. Where did she go? Let's Where's just approach that? the mirror. No. We freed her. You've unraveled. What does that mean? There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Do you know what we'll find out there? I, I... Look, I'm, I'm as lost as you. <laughs> Back in the alone, there are voices that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is something else. I'm the narrator and he wants me to kill you. Do you, do you have a narrator? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? 
We gotta find him. Is anything real out there? Do you think that we're we real? We are real. Nothing is an idea that dwells in the absence of something. But nothing cannot exist on its own. And because of that, nothing can't exist. Uh, what do you think of this vessel? This one is vaporous. She is a dream for a life she could never have. But that longing has given her so much kindness. <laughs> Some long she notes. Music's great, but also. Ah! How many more vessels? One. Whatever you bring me next will be. Oh me. shit! And then gravity will pull the others back to me. I will be singing. Wait, just one more. A final multitude. Just one. Okay, we got it. We got to go one more round. Then. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. All right, let's see if we get like some proper answers with the next life. Then, so we need to bring one more vessel. I will be here, waiting for you. <laughs> so, do you have to smash like a milk bottle over our head each time? <laughs> let's not grab the knife, and then we'll just see where it goes from there. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Oh no, she's gonna eat her hand off again. She then <laughs> no. as she rips her flesh from her bone. Jesus, it's the blade from upstairs. No, but here's a knife. We, you won't like. Let's save her. As the princess approaches do it, the narrator. bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. I can't warn her anymore. It's gonna get. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, there's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You bring the blade down to strike at the princess's heart, but she's fast. She ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside. Slaying her won't be easy now that she's free. She uh -oh. pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. You collapse to the floor, your body unresponsive as your I don't think, on the ground. I don't think it's gone floor. well. She just has she claws now, too. Yeah. So this this is probably going to have a worrying outcome, because now we just betrayed her again. Everything goes dark. Turned her like, it's, like it gave her a bit of a god don't. complex last time. Chapter two, the witch. Uh, what, what friendly happened. voice have we got this time? Brilliant. We need to keep our cards close to our chest, and I'm not sure we can trust him. The opportunist is here. Okay. It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Did I say I'm not sure we can trust him? <laughs> Slip of the tongue. The, <laughs> You're the old brain fog. I meant to say that we should probably head over to the cabin and slay that princess. We already know we can't trust her, so let's get on with the show. He's just like, uh, just wink to you, the audience at home. Let's just go, yeah, like, sorry we killed you, by the way. No blade. I hope you know what you're getting listening to. Hello. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. She must have you confused with someone else. <laughs> you can hey, just make the shape of the Please don't murder us. Room. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the thick roots. Oh shit, oh yeah, she's, okay, she's straight up like a werewolf or something now. <laughs> she's gonna kill us. Oh no. <laughs> You've already been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Well, you seem to be great at it. So, you really don't remember us, do you? If the narrator seems to be his own vessel that's gathering the voices for maybe himself, Maybe? I don't know. I, I really don't know where the plot's gonna go, but... Look, I know, I know things got messy last time, but I think there's something bigger than both of us at work. We should team up. I suppose you didn't come into my hovel of your own accord, did you? Alright. I suppose I could... team up? I need a way out, after all. And unfortunately, you're the only one I have. Can you get out of those chains on your own? Those chains didn't stop you last time. Oh, of course. They're nothing to me. The princess oh. grins as the chains fall from her wrist. She could have gotten out of those the whole time. That sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. She knows how to hold her cards close to her chest. This is why she can't just be abandoned here. If left to her own devices, she'll find a way out. Now stop but her. she already could. Okay, let's leave. Leave with the princess just immediately. Yes. Let's. She's silent for a long moment. Please don't just to murder me. She'll do now that she's within arm's reach. After you, darling. You're the one it lets come and go. It's best if I follow. She's totally gonna kill me. Um, uh, what's the worst she could do? That's right. You're the one who's going first. 
Don't worry, I'll be right behind you watching every single thing you do. Feel something oh no! <laughs> your shoulder, sharp and piercing. The princess clawing at you and pulling you down with her full weight. Princess, no! Whether you tumble back down the uneven stairs, oh, your body and hers crashing against the unyielding wooden roots until finally you both separate with a bone-shaking thud against the basement floor. You feel something pop. We were going to help her. Well, Why? Sir. Why did she do that? It's what I would have done. Have you considered not being like that? Of course not. It's what keeps us alive. And yet here we are, paralysed and stuck with someone who hates us in the basement of a remote cabin. You must have known this was coming. The arrogance of turning your back to me after everything you've done. Yeah, no, that was, that was pretty stupid. The princess's body twitches as she tries to get up. No, no, we got her too. Ho, ho, ho. So she's got it as bad We as did us. get her too. Something inside me is broken. Isn't that a cruel twist of the knife? Isn't that so, so funny? Wait, are we both just stuck here? Certainly seems that way. Oh, uh, we might as well have what a, a chat. Way to go? Gonna be here a while. Right side. Uh, you wanna All play I Spy? It's I Spy with my little eye. Something begin with P. That's right, it's the princess. Okay, your turn. Pain! Hello? Are you still there? What happens next? He doesn't respond. I think he's gone. Something strange is twisting this place out of shape. I wasn't feeling much of anything, but now I feel cold. Oh, the hands are here. We did it. Once you reach for, they're gone once again. The mirror always makes them leave. You need to see what's in it. You are nothing at all. Oh no. As in right, you can't be nothing. You refocus your game and you see a figure faint and veiled in shadow just beyond the reflection. I yeah. think you know what I mean. Oh shit. The crack slides down the center of the mirror, splitting the image of the in the glass in two. Then another crack forms and another and another turn the mirror into jagged shards of broken glass. Tim? The narrator. Yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help after all, an objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds you've damned to extinction to fall this far. Quite a few. <laughs> oh, jeez! This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and hers into another world. But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Oh, God! But you do know about the loop, and so many times I've met you, you denied it even being a possibility. Why did you lie to me? Any other version of me you talked to was just that. A version of me. It wasn't me. As to why they lied... Perhaps they thought that admitting to it would have pushed you to certain realizations that would have made finishing your task impossible. Maybe they were just in denial. I'm sure many of them were convinced that they had to be the first version of them you'd encountered. Anything else would have been too existentially unpleasant. Uh, a contrast to this uh, pleasant existential experience right here. <laughs> Been to save yourself for all this hubris. I do. The people out there are real. No matter what you do to them, no matter what you enable, I want you to remember that. <laughs> Does it, does it hurt when pieces of you break off like that? It doesn't hurt. I don't feel pain. Oh, thank God. It's a little calmer. Soon I'll be gone entirely. And you'll be left alone with your final choice. So allow me to make my final request. The princess contains death itself within her. But I wove you into being with all the power you need to destroy her forever. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm just not listening to him. the world of death. Absolutely not. Oh, we don't we don't have any questions left. You're the long quiet. The god I made to rid the world of death. Michael Slayer, I want you to know that before you die for good. I just want him to suffer. Well, there's no reasoning with a god. Even one you've woven into existence yourself. I've said my piece, and my time is up. And just an echo. And every echo fades away. There he goes. As the final fragment of glass shatters, you see yourself with newfound clarity. The narrator was right, you are the long quiet, a vast and nascent god. And it is finally time for you to wake up. 
All of this is you. You have the heart of things. There is no final vessel for you to bear witness to. There's nothing for you to find. Oh! The fuck is happening? I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. We're about to fight like a Final Fantasy boss or something, because one for the smitten. It throws an endless cascade of smiles and response and patiently awaits for you to continue. What happens now? Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death and the possibility of meaning? Or, will you open the final doors to our liberation? I mean, I kind of just want, don't want to do what the narrator's been telling me to. Because, you know, so, like, like, just just get rid of him, you know? I've been through ourselves with so many questions, I need answers before I can make a choice. My very nature is paradox, as is yours. You cannot use words to grasp at things that are beyond their reach. Oh, okay, and great. you cannot rationalize that which defies logic. But violence and passion are dances that both of us know well. Oh, no! If this is what it takes to enlighten you, then so be it. A trick behind your back and a trick behind mine. We dance, revolving and revolving around each other, but forever stuck in place. We both move and yet we both don't, for each of us watches the other instead of ourselves. But forever is not forever. I move and you react and both of us break the other. But broken is only a moment in time. To change is to hold the potential to rise above. Would you limit yourself to what you are now? Why would you like to see what you might become tomorrow? There are no endings, there are no limits. If there are no limits, then there's no difference between growth and decay. Meaning lies in experience, and experience lies in contrast. Abandoning one's search is not the same as losing the capacity to discover. I am contrast itself. To reject me I don't, I don't think she's friendly anymore. Everything. Do not use words to reduce that which your eyes know to be irreducible. Uh oh. A shiver passes through you as unseen fingers, cold as the grave, dance across your skin. They remember the violence you inflicted on them, and yet they do not return it. You felt the pain you caused another, and you were willing to sacrifice everything you thought was used to set me free. Without sin, there is no redemption. <laughs> it's like, it's like philosophy battle. <laughs> like, let's go, college debate in society. Quote Kant or something. <laughs> Quickly, <laughs> let me just pull out my copious amounts of academic papers. There's got to be something in her. Death of the art, and that's a concept here, right? <laughs> sacrifice everything to free you again. And yet there is nothing left for you to sacrifice, so long as you accept me with open arms. Your uh -oh. tries to stake into your body, and another, and another, and another. Do I miss your heart because I can't stand to see it go? But the stakes meant nothing to you. You had a desire, and you set that desire free. You lifting me, and me lifting you. Forever and ever and ever. Consumed by true belief, there was nothing that could hold us back. Smitten never left. I want the feeling back. For the smitten. It never left you. You just need to open your heart to me once more. Oh. What is a person? Is it their body? Is it all of their body? Pluck the eyes, peel the skin, strip the tendons, mince the meat, grind the bones. When it is all gone, do you still have... This one, this one might do a number on us. Not my body, but perhaps others are theirs. And yet bodies change, and consciousness goes on. 
The infant's body is not the child's, is not the adult's, but the thread of existence remains strung through it all. Oh. To question everything is to deny the proof of reality that lies in front of you. By believing in your suffering, you make your suffering real. In believing in your limitations, you placed a shackle on your neck. But even then, you remembered the impermanence of the material, and watched as the walls of your prison decayed into nothing. I don't know if there's a good outcome for this or what we do. <laughs> the after you obey to begin to shake, your will rapidly dissolve and... Are you starting to see? Nothing is immutable. Everything that is exists only in relation to everything it isn't. There is no constant. There is no center. This sounds like the void's gonna claim everything real soon. Open your eyes and accept what we are. We can leave this prison together. You think you can change me, then I must be able to change you. Yeah, I think this is the correct one. We gotta kinda find something here. I won't kill you, but I won't let you free. There is no something else. This, what we are, is everything. Whatever you're trying to do right now, you don't have to do that now. Ah, oh, characters here. Explore, which hero are you? I'm all of them. I assume in the same way that I'm all of you. Where's everyone else? They're still waiting. Do this out here on my own. We gotta team up with the voice. Voice. We gotta get back to the smitten. I'm ready. And let's go. Oh. <laughs> and here we are. I'd say we were back where it all started, but I guess it's a little after that, isn't it? Do you need me to describe things? I'd like that for old times' sake. The question is, do we take the blade for the final time? Can we save her after all this time? The smitten would not want it. Is narrator really yeah, gone? It's dead silent in here. Whatever it was that was left of him, I don't think it could handle you waking up to godhood. Pretty sure he got obliterated. Nice. The stairs. Do you remember the first time we were here? First time we heard her voice. God, memories. Have you figured out what you want to do yet, or are you going to keep trying to find a center that doesn't exist? It sounded just like that. A little sharp, a little menacing. Only she didn't know us. And there you are. Hands. There's no chain empty. this time. So you don't feel like recreating our first meeting detail for detail. I wonder what else will be different. So I don't want to be a god. Honestly, me neither. I don't know, I can't hear this mission anymore. What if we just leave? Do you know where this cabin is? Because I don't. I don't even know what's supposed to be outside other than us. What would even happen if we leave? What would that even mean? <laughs> for the smitten, we could. We could do it for the smitten. It's what he'd want. <laughs> it's what he'd want. Okay then. Let's leave. I think I'm gonna stay right here. Whatever you're doing right now, wherever you're going, it feels like it's for just the two of you. Thanks for everything, Hero. Thanks for making all the hard choices along the way. Leave with the princess. Hands clasped together, you and the princess leave the basement behind for the last time. Why as you ascend, a comfortable silence filling a space that used to be flooded with violence and words and noisy thought. There's an energy in the silence, an electricity, anticipation of the unknown. Top the stairs, the princess stalls, eyes fixed on the cabin door. Feel her hand tremble in yours, unsure of herself for the first time in her long and short existence. No part to play anymore. She knows this, yet she still is. And then she crosses the room to the door outside, pulling you excitedly with her. This is it. I have no idea what it's going to be like out there. Not that I'm scared or anything. It's exciting, really. Anything could happen. And if it's bad, then it won't be bad. Not with you. I <laughs> For the smitten. I love you too. <laughs> but I'm 
trying not to be sappy about it. Don't make me. Oh, they're smitten. <laughs> Love wins. 